It's easy to be amazed by those big and wonderful mining machines, but sometimes we just forget how dangerous and how unforgivable this job can be at every level. Let's get into it. This is Mining Gone Wrong. This happened in Fort McMurray a few years ago. Bless the poor lady who was behind the wheel that night. What do you think could actually go wrong when you try to lift a rock the size of Mexico with a Lee Bear 996? I'm not exactly sure where this happened, even though I assume this is in Australia. The machine looks brand new, so thankfully no damage done that day. This Lee Bear T282B was put in service the same day. Terrible destiny for that beast. Whoever was operating this RH-170 messed up big time there. What do you think happened? This looks impressive, right? But keep in mind that this is pretty typical in the mining world. When you look at the position of the hull, you know what happens next. Co-workers had to record it. The next one, however, I'm not sure what happened there. I mean, it almost takes skills to put it in a position like this. Here's a classic one. Backed up to dump the load, and there was no bump to retain the truck. Typical. Poor 994K stuck in the mud. Thankfully, not an expensive mistake. I think this picture perfectly describes the constant danger that miners have to deal with daily. This is possibly the scariest thing that can happen in the open pit mining business, the dreaded landslide. Once it starts sliding, there's really nothing you can do, except maybe praying. In August this year, 30 people died in a jade mine in Asia after a similar event happened. Luckily, nobody was hurt in this one right here. Once again, not a scene where anyone got hurt, but damn, the operator probably felt so stupid there. Even the 797 can get in tricky situations sometimes. I can't figure what exactly happened, but well, let's say it's not that bad. Isn't it so freaking heartbreaking to see the most stable machine on earth being flipped over like this one? God, I hate it. I'm guessing there was a little bit of a storm the night before this picture was taken. This actually looks pretty neat to me, not gonna lie. Once again, not an accident by any means. This is just a typical spontaneous combustion. Now a sequence that you've probably seen before. This happened in 2019 and the outcome is exactly what you expect. While I think it could have been even worse, it's hard not to blame the operator on that one. But that being said, you don't see that many jobs out there where you need to stay focused for 12 hours straight. So out of respect, no judgment there. That must have felt so weird and so scary when you consider the height of a truck like this. Something I personally witnessed back in 2003, an articulated dump truck cut in half. Even though this can happen, it's definitely not a usual thing to see. Komatsu gets a lot of heat in the heavy equipment world from what I've seen. This picture is not going to help. The drag line collapsed after an obvious bench failure. This happened in Queensland, Australia. In most of these recorded scenes, there's always someone who calls the upcoming disaster. That's why they push record on their phone in the first place. But why does the operator always seem to be the last one to get what's happening? This sequence is a perfect example of stubbornness. Another mining mayhem where thankfully nobody was hurt. But as we get closer, just look how close the operator was to be hit by the haul from the truck in front of him. Very, very close call. Quite easy to understand what happened here. Just like I said previously, there's something awful about seeing a caterpillar dozer in trouble. Agreed? We looked at a picture of something similar a minute ago. This is the video version of it. Perfect demonstration of an operator thinking he's going to be held by a lip or a bump of some sort. Problem. The bump has been flattened by other trucks, and before you know it, it's downhill from there. Painful to watch, really. Something clearly didn't hold underneath this track. Could have been much worse. 
I tried to read this picture to figure out what exactly happened, and I gotta say, I'm not sure. You guys tell me. This, however, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out myself. Komatsu haters, see how this PC-3000 held the shock? Another wheel loader with its front wheels stuck in the mud. I can tell you, you'd take this situation over anything that's coming next. This is some no damage situation right here. Unlike here, where this dump truck backed up and failed to see the drill rig behind him. Pretty scary day at work for both operators, I guarantee. Just as scary for this guy, who probably didn't even realize he was losing a wheel. I mean, how do you even see that from up there? This is a landslide that happened at Bingham Canyon Mine in Utah on May 31st, 2021. This leads back to what we were talking about earlier about landslides. Once it gets going, there's nothing you can do. In 2013, the same mine experienced one of the most impressive landslides in mining history. 145 million tons, or 65 million cubic meters of waste, fell into the bottom of the open pit. As I'm leaving you with three more pictures for you to watch, let me thank you for watching those videos. This means the world to me and I can promise you, there's much more to come. Thank you again.